Good day, it's Christian from SolarTech Solutions, and in this short video, I'm going to show you how to create a design library feature. Design library features can be very handy and um, can increase your design efficiency as well. It's very easy to set up, and once it's set up, um, you will see it's a big time saver. So let's just jump straight into it. I'll first start off with a new part. And the first thing that you want to do is you want to create a base feature that actually holds the feature for the design library. So let's just chuck in a feature like this. I'm just going to give it some dimensions. These dimensions are not important at all. As I said before, this is just going to hold the actual um, feature. Okay, so once we've got the base feature, the next thing that we're going to do is I'm going to use an insertion point as well. So I'm just going to sketch a simple point over here and just exit the sketch. The reason why I use this insertion point is because I'm going to use that later um, to locate my smart feature. Now to create my smart feature, just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to use a very simple slot feature like so maybe give it a couple of dimensions and let's add a relation between the center point and that point that I just created I can then also do a direct cut and I'm gonna select through all as the end condition Okay, so we've pretty much got a smart feature set up. What if I want this slot feature here to be smart? So the next time that I use this, I don't want to create a sketch anymore. I just want to drag and drop this from the design library. Now, what I can do is I've opened up the design library over here. Notice that I've pinned it down like so, um, and I've selected the design library button from here. I'll just create a new folder Call this sample and the only thing that I have to do is pretty much is drag and drop this feature in here if you've got multiple features that's possible as well just don't forget to hold the control key to select them all and then drag them in the design library give it a file name you can give it a description as well and simply click on OK now my slot feature is over there. Notice that you get a nice L for library feature underneath there. I can close this now. I don't need to do anything with it anymore. And if I would start off with a new design, and let's use a circle. So you've got your normal design over here now. I'm going to locate place a sketch point over here again these I use a sketch point now but you can use edges you can use the origin you can use axes the various different reference geometry that you can use the only thing that I do now is just drag and drop my slot on top of the face and you can see because I made the center point of that slot I made a coincident reference to a sketch point so it works just asking for that sketch point now so what I need to do is simply select a sketch point and the slot will be automatically placed on that point over there. I can simply click on OK and that's it. Very simple smart feature that you've added to the design library. Now there is a lot more um, stuff that you can do with the design library. Just have a look on the, in the help file um, in the SolidWorks help file um, over there. And if you search for design library, you will actually find some more examples that you can use to set up as well. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you for watching. For more videos, please check out our channel or the links on the screen. Don't forget to subscribe to receive updates on our recent videos.